Hi everyone, hope you all are doing good. Today I am back with another new topic on synthesis that is link library versus target library. So if you haven't watched my previous videos on synthesis, you can click on this link above. There I have discussed on the inputs required for synthesis as well as the flow of synthesis. And also I have given an example of Jenner's flow. Please go through those videos before watching this video. So link library versus target library. This question is a very common question asked during interviews. And uh, the interviewer will ask this question if the candidate says that they have worked on synopsis tool set. That is the time only this question arises and it's a very commonly asked question. So without any further delay, let's quickly get started. So first we have to see what is link library and before starting that, let us quickly remind that uh, we already discussed on our previous video that we are using to perform synthesis we are using two commonly uh, tool set in industry one is synopsis that is from synopsis we are getting design compiler and from cadence we are getting genus whenever we are using design compiler link library and target library are the two terminologies that come across we have to come across these terminologies basically so these are the terminologies used in design compiler only these are not used in cadence tool set. So what is mean by link library? A link library is basically a collection of cells that are used to describe the function of mapped cells. So we know that in RTL we will have all the uh, programming and based on that we have to map them. And all these mapped cells are already present in this link library. And we use this library prior to optimization stage that is we used it before optimization itself and this library is typically used to provide cells that are not available in the target library such as rams roms memories and other macros and the most important thing is that link library is a technology independent library that means it contains cells from any technology library. It is not dependent on any particular target based technologies. So as the name suggests, it is just linking the uh, linking the library. It is not based on any target based technologies, not particular any process node like 22 nanometer, 10 nanometer. It is not based on any particular process node. It is directly just mapping. It is just it just contains collection of cells. Those are used to describe the function of mapped cells. So for mapping only during elaboration stage we use this library and there is a commonly used uh, there is a, a comment that is link underscore library we use that uh, we use for that. Uh, we will get back to this last line let's quickly see what is mean by target library. So the target library is basically as the name suggests, it is the target based technology library. That means for that particular node, for the design for which we are working, the particular node based library it is. So this library is provided by the foundry. So it is based on that particular technology node. And we are using this library during synthesis. That is, it contains, it is used for technology mapping. So it is used for technology mapping. As the name suggests, it is technology based, uh, particular technology based, uh, it contains technology based cells. So it is used to map the uh, map the cells based on technology now. Previously, link library was technology independent. This is technology dependent. So technology independent means those who are not particular based on the sh shape of the cells are not based on technology node. But here the cells will be everything will be having functionality based on technology particular technology so it contains both combinational and sequential cells which are mapped to the equivalent gates so whatever link library we have referred already it is basically mapping to those equivalent gates so combinational cells like and or nand nor etc sequential cells like flip flop latches etc so everything will be there in this target based library and these cells will be mapped to the equivalent gates now one question comes here that 
do we add macros in the link library or the target based library so basically we do not add macro libraries in the target library macro libraries means what macro libraries are used to store macros which are predefined blocks of logic so these are not synthesized by the tool that is the design compiler but instead they are used as a references so we are using link library and link library contains macros and we these macros are used to refer only so we are basically referring the macros in the design we are not using it for synthesis so we are not synthesizing it by the tool so we are basically referring the macros that's why uh, the the target library basically contains the cells that are used to synthesize the design and link library contains the li uh, contains the uh, cells that are used to refer macros and other standard cells which are not synthesized target library means we are synthesizing the design so that's all about link library versus target library if you understood the concept and if you like the information please do uh, please do hit the like button and thanks for watching this video with patience uh, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press the bell icon do comment down below your feedback on this video and share it as much as possible with your friends colleagues and vlsa aspirants follow this channel follow our whatsapp and facebook channel also we are new to instagram please follow our channel links all the links are shared at the description box see you next time till then stay tuned stay safe and keep learning